All righty. Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. It is Wednesday morning, about uh, 1042, and uh, we're coming live to you to give you some updates on some of the things that are happening in the church and to encourage you as well. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, sometimes we just need that that little boost. Sometimes we need that encouragement. Sometimes we just need that that, that someone to give us a pat on the back, uh, that someone to, to say, man, you, you know, you're doing a good job. We thank you for this. And, and so, you know, I, I hope that you get that. Um, I know that if you're watching this, maybe, maybe you do have a home church someplace else. Maybe you're watching us in, in Illinois or uh, Colorado or, or wherever. You may have a home church, which is great. Uh, and you just follow along with us just because you want to see what's happening here at West Point, which is good. But a lot of the people who are in this church, who call this church home, call this their place that they worship and, and their fellowship and their family, we need you. And I'm just saying this. I'm saying this because we need you. Samantha and I were talking about the things that we do just for Sunday. And some of the things that we have to get accomplished, things that we have to do, and we need you. I mean, we're, we're, we're ramping up, and we're, we're talking about Sunday school teachers. And we're going to provide all the education, all the materials that you need, but we need you to want to be a Sunday school teacher or a sponsor or whatever the case may be. We want you to want to learn how to use the computer and the sound. We want you to want to do communion, to set that up, to get that out on Sundays. We want you to work in the nursery. We want you to want to work in children's church. We want you to fill in the blanks. Because this is your church. This isn't my church. This is your church. Actually, you know what? It's not even your church. It's, it's Jesus' church. Because Jesus is the head of the church. It's his. He gave up his life for the church. And so we need you to help us. I'm going to make a couple announcements about some things so that you know what's going on. Uh, one, we have until Monday to raise extra funds to help with the, uh, the decoration, the improvement to the youth room. So we have until Monday to try to match, if we can, what was already given. So thank you for those of you who have already given money to that, which is awesome. It's amazing. Please continue to do so. Um, also, uh, just so people know, I will be on vacation starting the 19th through uh, the 26th. So that's a Monday through a Monday. I will be gone. I will be out. I will be in the mountains. And from what I understand, there's going to be very little to no cell reception. So what does that mean? If you need something, call an elder. If you need something, contact the office during the office hours. Um and they will try to get a hold of me if they can, uh, if there's something that is absolutely critical. If not, so the point there was critical. Wait until I get back. All right? There's nothing that important unless there's something that is absolutely important that can't wait. So just remember, I'm going to be going on vacation with my family. Um, all right. You guys have to be tired of me talking about this. You know, it's like me getting on my son about making sure that he gets up and goes to work on time. Why do you keep talking to me about this? Why do you keep talking to me? Because you're not doing it. Or I keep talking about certain things that we need to accomplish here in the church, and I keep bringing them up to you, and I'm going to keep bringing them up to you because we need your help. You guys, all of you talk about this place being your home. And your home needs your finances. It, it, it's dumbfounding to me how many people come to church or watch online or do whatever and they don't give anything to the church. Here's why it's important. Our weekly budget that, our, excuse me, our monthly budget that we need to have is $13,666.67 a month. And I'm going to tell you what our monthly offering was. So 13.6 is what we're supposed to bring in. 
January 10,700, February 9,900, March 11,800, April 10,500, May 10,300, June 10,500. So what does that mean? So far this year, we are just uh, uh, just over $22,000 behind budget. 22000 And yet, we still have to keep moving. We still have to do improvements. We still have to upgrade things. We still have to do things. We need you to help us. If you are already giving, if you are already dedicated and, and you give, thank you. We're not asking that you give more. We're just asking those who don't, too. All right, this week we have Daniel. And to understand Daniel is to understand the very first chapter. So what happens with Daniel? What happens with them? And, and so we see this in chapter 1. It says, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, uh, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord delivered Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hands, along with some of the articles of the temple of God. These he carried off to the temple of his God in Babylonia and put in the treasures of his God. Then the king ordered Asphenaz, chief of his court officials, to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility, young men without physical defect, handsome and showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. He was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that, they were to be entered in the king's present, uh, servants. So Daniel was one of these men because God had a plan for him. And you can see how Daniel served through Nebuchadnezzar through Darius, through Xerxes, through Cyrus. You can see how he served through all of them to the best of his ability. It has to be us too. We will serve him to the best of our ability. All right, guys, I will see you Sunday. We love you, and I will see you then. All right, have a great day, everybody.